Hey guys, Toby here from Hadler Fitness. Fuck man, it is so good to be back in Australia. All right, so today's topic, can you build muscle and lose fat at the same time? So this is a very controversial topic. I'm looking forward to presenting this to you guys and really breaking it down in the, the, way, I, the way that I think about it. And it does make sense. So let's get it. Ordering shots of tequila, that shit got me stuck in the days. I can't believe that I'm still on my feet. Matter of fact, I'm fucking amazed. I don't think I feel my face. All of this liquor keep hmm. So if you train right, you look right. If you eat right, you feel right. So basically, in this smoothie, I've got coconut water, frozen pineapple, frozen blueberries, banana, um, salted caramel whey from my protein, and yeah, I think that's it. And peanut butter, the best of all. All right, so guys, can you lose fat and build muscle at the same time? So this is a very controversial topic. So the way people look at this is um, they want to cut and lose body fat whilst eating in a deficit and still trying to build muscle at the same time. That's the perception that a lot of people have, but that's not the case. You can't do that. If you're eating in a calorie deficit, it is a controlled mechanism of starvation. Think about it. Can you build muscle? Um, can you build muscle while you're starving yourself? It's not optimal conditions. I'm not saying that it can't be done. I'm just saying it's not optimal. So you need to have. You need to be goal specific. So you don't go into a cut looking to build muscle. You go into a cut looking to maintain muscle and lose body fat. You go into a bulk, looking to gain weight and build muscle. So some people look at it as a lean bulk. So they'll keep their calories a little bit above maintenance, and that puts them in a calorie surplus, ideal conditions to build muscle. But obviously when you build muscle, a little bit of fat mass comes with that. It's just how the body adapts to um, eating above calorie maintenance and putting on weight. You're going to build muscle. Your muscles are going to get a lot more full of, of uh, glycogen and every, every other bits of energy that the body does for requirements in regards. So you're just going to look a lot more, a lot more fuller and you won't be as lean. But the more... Uh, lean body mass you have, the leaner you're going to look if you have 15, like anywhere from 10 to 20% body fat, you're still going to be like relatively lean depending on how big you are. So basically the science, if you are eating, so say you're a beginner and you're eating in a calorie deficit and you're say anywhere from 20 to 30% body fat, your maintenance calorie intake is about 3,000 and you're eating at around say 2,500, 2,000, somewhere around there. And like, as I said, you've got lots and lots of body fat. That Your body sees that as energy it can use in a calorie deficit. So it's actually true to say that you can build muscle and lose fat at the same time if you are overweight. It's the opposite way. If you are, say, very skinny and you're trying to build muscle, if you're very skinny, you don't have much fat to metabolize for energy. So if you're in a calorie deficit, you're most likely going to use muscle. So you probably lose muscle if you are already lean, trying to cut down even further. But if you are overweight, say 20 to 30% body fat, as you uh, lift weights, get stronger, like you cover off on progressive overload, you have your weekly volume targets, shooting for the targets of getting stronger and building muscle at the same time. So hypertrophy and strength gains. So you're chasing that. With with this being overweight, that calorie deficit, your body is going to use the excess fat as energy to upregulate your metabolism. So, if you are if you have weekly volume targets, you're using progressive overload. You're giving your body a stimulus that it's not used to. Your body's going to adapt to that, get stronger, build muscle, and it's going to metabolize fat for energy. So look at it in this perspective. Say you're overweight, you go into a 16 week program that got you eating in a calorie deficit, uh, or even at maintenance, you're still going to build muscle and metabolize fat. So over a 16 week program, you'll see the, their lean body mass will improve, their fat mass will decrease, even if they're at maintenance, like because they're, they're lifting they're giving their body a stimulus it's not used to and the body's going to adapt to that. And the adaption is hypertrophy and obviously neural mechanisms which are 
uh, strengthens your connective tissue, which also helps with muscle recruitment and getting stronger. So you'll, you'll see like um, improvements within the physique and decrease of the actual free fat mass throughout the body, even uh, more so a lot of visceral fat as well, which is the layer below the skin. So you'll see their physique get better, they'll drop fat, but they might not even only drop a few kilos if they're eating at maintenance, but their physique overall will change. So when you look at uh, weight loss and like improving your physique, it's not, uh, body composition is more important than weight because weight takes into account lean body mass and fat mass, the two types of fat mass as well. So you need to look at it separately in regards to how your body has lean body mass and the fat mass and the two types of fat so mass. So you have your two types of fat mass, subcutaneous and visceral fat, which is the layers below your skin, which you'll see, like say the tuck shop arms, like the stubborn areas, and then you have your subcutaneous, which might be uh, like the fat mass that can uh, surround your organs and mainly the stuff that's like on the um, transverse abdominis and just like areas that's required for health like just to maintain your body and natural organ functions, all that kind of stuff. So you, you need you need to understand the difference between lean body mass and like fat mass when you look at your weight because as a trainer and um, trying to hit targets for my clients, uh, they'll be like, oh, I've only lost two kilos. But you need to look at like the other perspectives in regards to how much strength you've gained in regard uh, also. So... You want to look at it in a couple of different perspectives, like your strength gains, how much your lifts have gone up, how much muscle you've built, your body composition overall. So the biggest thing you want to look at, the weight scale doesn't really matter. It's what you look like. So over a 16-week block, you want to look at your transformation photos from day one, your mid and the after. And then obviously you can take in your body measurements. But at the end of the day, people don't care how much they weigh. No one cares how much you weigh. People care about what they look like. So then biggest contributing factor you want to look at this is increasing your uh, lean body mass which is obviously lifting weights progressive overload volume uh, weekly volume targets and just trying to get stronger and in that process of just having in a dull diet so eating at maintenance or even in a calorie deficit whether you want to lose weight or maintain or bulking whatever you really want to focus on what your body looks like the scale doesn't matter you don't go around people going around telling people, oh, I weigh 90 kilos, but you look like shit. You're like, oh, I lost this much fat. No one cares. It's all about what you look like, what you, what you perceive yourself as. Though, it is a mental thing when you look at the scale. That is, it is, it is very important to some people, but overall, your body composition and what you look like is more of a contributing factor to what your health is and how you feel as a person as well. So when you're looking at a program over a 16-week block and someone's eating at maintenance or in a deficit, they're obviously their physique's going to, going to improve and in that process as they lose fat, your physique's going to improve and you're going to build lean body mass. You're going to look stronger. You're going to look stronger, bigger, and you're going to have less fat after a 16-week block which like is specific for you, even like full body, upper body, like legs, push, pull, whatever program you're doing, as long as you're increasing the weight progressively over time, you're getting stronger. As you get stronger, muscle is a byproduct of strength. So you're going to have more cross-sectional area on your muscles, more muscle fibers to recruit. So you're going to have more muscle there to recruit to help you lift more weight. So you're going to build muscle, you're going to lose fat, you're going to get stronger over a 16-week block. Even if the scale doesn't change, your physique will change. So you need to understand the difference between the two types of fat I just described before, lean body mass, and your body's physique is what matters. It's not what the scale says, okay? I hope I've covered this off quite well. Because when I look at it, people are like, oh, I just want to build muscle and shred at the same time. It's not really ideal. So you, you need to have an understanding. If you're going into a calorie deficit, you're probably going to lose muscle. It mightn't be much. You can maintain it with a high-protein diet, but it's a controlled mechanism of starvation. You're going to fucking lose muscle, all right? It's just a byproduct of starving yourself. And then you, if you're going into a bulk, you're going to build muscle, you're going to put on a little bit of weight, and some of that may be fat. Like, you, you can't say 6% lean, ripped, shredded, like, year-round. You can stay, I'm not saying you can't stay lean and aesthetic, but... Staying like six, six to seven percent is just not ideal. So you you need to have specific 
goals. So you need to either be bulking, cutting, or maintaining. Like, you can't be, oh, I want to get stronger and cut at the same time. It's not ideal. So if you want to get stronger, be prepared to put on a little bit of weight and a little bit of fat and lose a little bit of your physique to sacrifice that to get stronger and build muscle because they're the ideal conditions. If you're in a deficit, getting prepped for a show like bodybuilding or something like that, you're going to lose a little bit of muscle, but you can maintain that with a high protein diet. But you are going to get a lot leaner and you may look actually a lot bigger than what you normally would just because of the sole fact that the serrations in your muscles come through. You get a good V-taper coming down as your six-pack and your serratus down in your ribs come in. Like Just as your whole physique comes in when you get below that 10% body fat if you're getting ready for a show. So make sure your goals are specific and just understand that if you're going into a cut, it's a sacrifice of losing fat and losing a little bit of muscle at the same time. Though your lifts can still go up in a calorie deficit because your body will adapt to that, adapt to the starvation, but um, it's not ideal. Ideal would be eating in a calorie surplus or at maintenance to give yourself that extra energy to replenish your glycogen reserves and just everything else that comes into lifting weights or cardio, whatever it is. So I hope I've covered this off quite well, guys. Um, yeah, if you have any comments, like, subscribe, comment down below. I'm definitely keen to hear your thoughts or whatever you have to say on the topic. Uh, my perspective on how I think about this is a bit different. The science says you can and you can't. There's lots of different studies out there, but what, whatever it is, if, you, if you're trying to cut, it's not ideal. Bulking is ideal to, for building muscle and eating in a deficit is ideal for losing fat. So you, you have to choose either one, okay? But your lifts can still go up in a deficit, but it's not ideal, all right? Judge Judy on stage, what? That's an analogy, I hope you're proud of me. I've been undoubtedly spending much more than my salary. Offers me hourly, fuck it, this liquor empowers me. Uh, I'm spending all of my dough, I'm spending all of my cash. All this money that I ever had, I put that shit on my tab. 12 o'clock and I'm fucked up, oh damn, I'm smashed. I got fine women and fine drinks and I'm trying to make the shit last it's friday thank god little homie it's friday right let me get it get it on a friday thank god little homie it's friday Ordering shots of tequila, that shit got me stuck in the days I can't believe that I'm still on my feet Matter of fact, I'm fucking amazed I don't think I feel my face All of this liquor keeps losing its taste Taking these shots and I hit that shit raw While the girl at the bar says it's better with Chase Speed up the pace, hit me again I could use a couple shots to the dome If I ain't spending my time by the bar Then I'm probably working on who to bring home I need a loan, all of my money is gone Fuck it, I'm in my zone She wants to she said she dropped me a tone. Wait, where the fuck is my phone? I'm spending all of my dough. I'm spending all of my cash. All this money that I ever had, I put that shit on my tab. 12 o'clock and I'm fucked up. Oh.